Hello and welcome back. Again, we learned in the previous lectures about Azure monitoring, but this time we are going to deep dive into insights. Insights will give you the more information uh, at the deeper level of uh, monitoring. And also insights will have a ready-made package also so that you can directly look at the core components and uh, common issues and the related to the performance or maybe could be the problems or you can easily diagnose the issues. So let's have a look on it. So when so when we talk about the insights, we have application insights, uh, which will be give you a greater details of your applications coding related inside debugging or which process or which uh, area of the code has a problem or maybe it is taking longer longer than the expected time. All that application insights will give you. And also in this demo, we're going to have a look on virtual machines and the scale sets. So coming back to the virtual machines, you would be actually getting the complete insights of the virtual machine. Uh, performance and the health of your virtual machines along with the virtual machine skill sets including their running processes deeper level and dependencies of that each virtual machine and also the components it's gonna talk it or it's gonna communicating with whatever other virtual machines and the uh, vital applications identifying the complete performance of the bottlenecks of your network issues also can be found with the help of inside and this uh, insights is not just for the windows uh, it can also monitor your Linux operating systems for your virtual machines and the virtual machine scale sets and hybrid virtual hybrid virtual machines connected to Azure Arc and on-premises virtual machines also can be uh, monitored and virtual machines hosted other cloud environments also can be monitored and coming back to the pricing uh, yeah pricing is um, it's there's no specific pricing direct uh, cost for the insights it actually goes and sits with the Azure monitoring pricing so whatever it was uh, built per, ba per GB basis, that's going to actually build for you. And uh, when you are trying to configure, you might have to configure as a pre-requirement of anything uh, related to the insights. You need to actually configure log analytics workspace, which we have a dedicated lecture in the previous lectures. You can check out that. And later point, we would be actually enabling the uh, insights for specific to the respected inside a category for example if you are talking with the applications we would be enabling um, uh, with uh, explicitly for the application insights and for the virtual machines as we talked we are going to actually uh, have a great demo in detail with the virtual machines and the scale sets uh, within this lecture and when we talk about the storage accounts yes for this uh, insights also applied uh, for the storage account so that you get the performance of your storage account how it is actually performing and you do have the insights for the Kubernetes services containers and you get the greater details of Kubernetes um, uh, services specific for example um, that are hosted on a cluster that's not about a case and self-managed uh, Kubernetes clusters and also self-managed cluster hosted on Azure Stack on-premises and also uh, Azure Red Hat OpenShift and Arc enable Kubernetes services all or can be monitored with the help of the uh, with the help of your containers uh, within the insights when you enable the uh, when you enable the kubernetes specific monitoring for the containers it gives you great performance visibility for uh, by collecting memory and processor metrics uh, from controllers nodes and containers that are available within the kubernetes um, through a metric api and also containers also um, collected uh, the information uh, from the logs also and that will help you to you know identify the average processor and memory utilization and you get the knowledge on you know identifying the what kind of resources are basically at the bottleneck and also you can identify container resides in a contain a controller or a pod um, this will help you to uh, get the controllers or pods overall performance and also it supports the complete uh, review of your resource utilizations at the workload levels and uh, host level on the host level so that you get the standard process and support for the pod and also understand the behavior of the cluster and uh, under average and heaviest loads you can find out that information and configuring alerts proactively with the help of uh, insights you can get the more uh, inside of your CPU or memory utilization or on the nodes and that are uh, extended or exceeding your uh, given threshold 
controls a health state which occurs in a cluster at the infrastructure or maybe at the node health rollup. So that gives you a you know, great uh, performance uh, specific insights information. And coming back to the networks and we do have the networks uh, very detailed information we can find out but you know for greater details you can actually locate the network watcher we have a dedicated lecture but I'm going to touch up within this lecture how you can uh, perform the networks as well as the network watcher but a great detailed dedicated lecture for network watcher was specified you can um, look into that lecture uh, within the monitoring section or maybe in the networking section I would be actually recording and keeping it there and you can also uh, get the um, Azure uh, monitor for your cache and uh, redis um, this gives the overall performance failures capacity and operation health for your uh, redis resources so that you get the exact as your cache uh, gives the unified uh, unified view of your performance and uh, that can be you know, helpful for you at the uh, scaling uh, perspective or maybe you can drill down uh, analysis for a particular Azure Cache or Redis um, resources so that you can diagnose the problems and see a detailed analysis of utilization and uh, failures or capacity or operation of any kind of these uh, things uh, can be uh, monitored and also you can do the customizations uh, for this. And when it comes to the Azure Cosmo DB, it will provide you a view of overall performance, failures, capacity, perf and also operation health of your entire Azure Cosmo DB resources in a unified interactive experience you are actually getting. And uh, it gives you great details at the scale perspective as we talked, very similar to the uh, readies and drill down analysis, customizable. All these are, um, you, you will be getting the a deeper level and also you can get the subscription um, that Cosmo DB are listed and Cosmo DB information time range so that you can um, view at that level including the failures and all that operation specific things and also when we talk about the key vault specific uh, monitoring you can actually get the complete vault specific request and performance and failures and the latency uh, you can you know get it that information with the respected to the SU key vault services the last one would be the resource groups that also can be completely monitored so that you will understand the uh, performance of your resource groups how they are actually uh, performing let's jump into the demonstration by logging to the Azure portal